odd, and even numbers. We will be using the cards and counters method. If you want, you can use other countable materials like shells, pebbles, or seeds as well along with number cards. Do you want to learn this concept with a worksheet to solve? Find the link to the worksheet in the description of this video. Watch the full video to get the solution of the worksheet. First, we will count and place the objects against each number card. Every time we see a number we will count from the beginning. Now, look at what you have in front of you. Every dot must have a friend to be even. As in, every even number will always have all dots in pairs. No dot is alone. If any number has a dot left alone without a friend or a companion, it is an odd number. Let's begin from one. One dot, it has no friend. Therefore, it's an odd number. One and two. It's a pair. Number two is an even number. Number three. Let's check if each dot has a friend. Oh. There is one dot which does not have a companion. Three is an odd number. Now, we will reflect on every number one by one to check if all the dots have a friend. If each dot has a friend, the number is even. If any dot does not have a friend, it is an odd number. Four. Even number. Five. There is one dot which does not have a companion. Five is an odd number. Six. Even number. Seven. It's an odd number. 8. Every dot must have a friend to be e. 8. That is an even number. 9. If any number has a dot left alone without a friend or a companion, it is an odd number. 9. It's an odd number. 10. Every dot must have a friend to be even. Let's check if each dot has a friend. Oh. 10 is an even number. If you have printed the worksheet from the link provided in the description, continue watching the video to the end. You can cross check if you have solved it correctly. If you like learning with Planet E, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Give a thumbs up to this video and share it with your friends. Thank you.